What's going on guys, and welcome to another episode of I'm Playing. Today I'm playing Lethal Enforcers on the Sega CD. So Lethal Enforcers is a light gun game where you play as a cop named Don, who is apparently at the local donut shop when he gets a call from the police department saying that there is a major crime organization on the loose, and being one of the only two survivors of an elite group of officers, it is his job to stop them. This game did receive some controversy back in the day for having uh, enemies that were photorealistic that you could shoot, which by today's standards I'm sure they're not nearly as photorealistic as they used to be. Uh, but yeah, so here we are at the main menu. We have some options, including difficulty level, easy, normal, and hard, uh, game mode, arcade or practice, and sound mode, motto, or stereo sound check, etc. So, and then we have some options for multiplayer. You have one player with a gun, one player with a joy pad, two players with gun and gun, two player with joy pad and gun, two players with joy pad and joy pad. Yeah, so I'm using a joy pad for this. I do not have a light gun, so let's get right into it. Player one. Yep, I'm player one, absolutely. That's my name. So we have a little kind of FMD cutscene-like thing here, which you expect from a lot of Sega CD games, although it may be in the Genesis version as well. There's a regular Genesis, uh, Genesis version of this game as well. Um, but this uh, CD version apparently has better audio quality, and I believe that may be the only difference. But I'm not positive about that. Don't shoot that guy, okay. So as usual, with most light gun games, you have the enemies and you have the people you're not supposed to shoot. So just shoot the enemies and you'll be good. And you press the A button to shoot and the C button to reload. And you can shoot these guns that pop up on the screen every once in a while to get a upgraded gun. Like this one, which I think is a Magnum or something like that. But I'm not positive. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not very accurate here, mostly because I'm using a joy pad. I'm sure this would be a lot easier with an actual light gun. But unfortunately, I do not have one. So you have most of the standard indicators on screen. In the bottom left you have your bullets. And in the top left you have your score for player one, which I'm player one and player two score in the top right. And your number of continues in the top center of the screen. Or credits. I'm not sure what the stars are on the top left. Don't shoot the cop. As far as light gun games go, this is a pretty solid one, I'd say. As I said, it would be, I'm sure, a lot better with an actual light gun. But even with the regular joypad, it works good enough. Although I'm sure, as you can tell, my accuracy is suffering <laughs> because of it. But I don't... I'm not sure if they actually give you an accuracy. I don't think they do give you an accuracy uh, rating at the end of the level, or the end of the game. So, I don't think your accuracy really matters all that much. It may for your score, but I'm not sure about that. But these enemies in the game are definitely not what I'd consider photorealistic. Uh, maybe back in the day they were, but not now. Alright, so now we're up to the car chase scene. 
Which, oddly enough, you cannot shoot the driver in the other car. Which is kind of strange, because logically it would make sense to shoot the driver. Instead of shooting every enemy in the car individually. But this game apparently doesn't have common sense. So I have to shoot every enemy that pops up. Because apparently the driver of the car is invincible. Go figure. As you would expect from a Sega CD game, the audio quality is top-notch. CD quality, I guess you could say. Soundtrack's pretty good. I like it. See, I have a, uh, well, actually, the star rating in the top left seems to have gone up to four stars from two. I guess that changes depending on how good I'm doing. I guess. I don't know. If anybody knows, you can tell me in the comments. I've only played this game once before, so... I don't know everything there is to know about this game. But, of course, there isn't a whole lot to know. It's a light gun game. They're all pretty standard. Just shoot everything that moves, except for the stuff that you're not supposed to shoot, like ladies and cops, in this game anyway. And it appears to be boss time. So I have to kill this guy with the rocket launcher here a whole bunch of times. It's amazing how many bullets these bosses can take. I mean, seriously. You'd think you'd be dead after having about 50 bullets in your chest. Come on. Man, finally. Situation is under control, absolutely. Everything is good. Okay, so, on to level... Well, I guess you'd consider it level 2. Oh yeah, they do give me an accuracy rating. 74%. Huh, not, not as bad as I thought it was. Going to be. Considering I took... Or so I thought, at least two shots per enemy. 319 shots, and apparently a rank of detective, I guess? Which isn't that good, I guess. Smart shooting. I'm not sure what that means. Smart shooting. I apparently shot smart. And here we have a shooting range. get all these, I'm not doing too bad. Whoops. I think I did pretty decent there. Wow, 94% accuracy. Not too shabby. I'll take it. Still only got rank of detective though. I don't know if that maybe goes up as you progress through the game or what, but I would think with 94% accuracy that I'd get a higher rank than that. Chinatown Assault. Sounds fun. Uh, do not shoot the cop. Oh boy. It's not my fault the bullet went through the enemy and hit the cop. Collateral damage. 
I supposed to shoot the chicken? Uh, not that guy. <laughs> oh. And I'm dead. Well, I guess that's just about it. Well, I tried anyway. Put in a name, end, and that concludes my cleaning of the town. Which was unsuccessful, I'm sure the enemies are still running rampant through the city. But anyway, guys, this has been Lethal Enforcers on the Sega CD. A good light gun game, as far as light gun games go. I'd say it's up there. Uh, if you like this video, please comment, rate, subscribe, and thanks for watching, guys.